Hey there, welcome back to Andrew's Channel International. My name is Andy, and today we play some Hearts of Iron 4 with Trial of Allegiance and in particular the Soviet Union. So, the Barbaros operation started, and I've been sitting up to leave my coast free so the Germans not only um, disembarked a lot of troops, but they could also run freely here on the <laughs> on the steppes, basically. And yeah, I, I didn't consider it. Now we have to fix this issue, and then I can I can push in the direction that I wanted to push originally, so to take uh, Gdansk and Grinia, and then to move slowly towards Berlin. But uh, of course, I need to pay some attention also in the south. I see also that the Italian kind of all right. Uh, that's that's also strange. Let's move a couple of uh, uh, troops here and give the order to um, keep the Italian away from, from here. I, I think it's strange because I also have a very a strong fleet and I don't understand how they could... Uh, probably they moved from uh, the Dodecanese and the Greeks then conquered it, so yeah. It's not a big deal, but I am surprised. I can't hide it. Okay, let's unpause the game. Let's focus now on the important stuff. If I manage to take uh, the Epaya away from the German uh, control, from German control, then I am going to be. Uh, I, I'm going to have a very easy life and create a pocket. And then I can do another pocket here and then another one here at the end. Yeah, the defensive line is holding, no problem. That's totally fine. Uh, the only bullshit that I've done was here. And by the way, I did another bullshit because now... <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. That's the one thing. Who is here? Push. And here. Push. I also want to have the cas. These are tactical bombers. But I have some casts that are actually following Rosukovsky. Those guys here now. Yeah. Move. Not. No, no, no. All of them. Move to Königsberg and they start uh, pushing. And those guys here move to Kaunas. And they do air superiority and bombarding. Alright, now it's much better. Last but not least, let me see if I can deploy some. Look at those. Those are tactical bombers. Let's use them on the logistic strikes. Here, yeah, perfect. Good. I mean, I need, I need just to push and, and keep pushing and, and keep pushing. I don't care. I have enough rifles, I have enough manpower. I'm going to lose a lot of men here, but I, I can't really leave the Germans doing what I want to do. Uh, adaptable army. Yeah, why not? The US already entered the war, really. Okay. Not bad. So, you guys go here. God, this is not Italy, apparently. I can't understand what is this owner, the Soviet Union, but it's green. It's, it looks buggy, isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's, fuck you. I thought that the Italians there were there, but I obviously made a mistake. It's fine. Let's close those guys now. 
now we pull push great good the first hit pocket is done this is nothing spectacular but that's enough to get rid of the first troops that invaded the soviet union and then we work maybe here we have Tallinn. We should actually try to push uh, here so that Tallinn is cut away. We'll keep those guys busy. Okay. And we have a lot of political power. Let me think what I could do. The war bonds for sure. And now we have some. Let me check. Victory is at hand. Division speed, oh yes. And the motherland calls, oh, even better. Now we are low with fighter and medium tanks, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to build as many fighters as possible as soon as I'm done with the production of... Yeah, but I, but I have it in the plans. Uh, you, by the way, are not needed. I start building um, military factories that are going into fighters because uh, the battle in the sky is pretty tough, as I see. And we try to get to Riga. By the way, we have Tallinn. Which means that those guys now here are, are having a very bad time because they don't have any sort of um, supply now. Okay, good. Okay, Shukov. Supply consumption minus fifteen percent. Well, in the situation where we, where we are, that could be an advantage. No, no, no! Keep, keep pushing! Come on! We need to go here. We are doing another amazing pocket uh, here in the north. We should not leave, uh, lose the momentum, right? Perfect. So, now give me some time, please. I take the advanced light chassis and I take a preset. Not really. I want to have, uh, uh what? All right. Now I can do it. Light flame tank at level three. So the speed is nine point three kilometers per hour. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, maybe I could add um, the radio. It's absolutely useless. I need a machine gun. This is pretty crazy. I mean, they're not doing that damage, you know. It's a support company, so. I don't even know if having a radio which is increasing the cost is necessary. I will just keep it as it is. Here's the armor and the engine. Okay, let me check one thing.
Okay. I'm gonna produce this light tanks uh, so that I can build them in uh, our infantry, but not immediately. Oh, wow, wonderful, wonderful guys! A lot of German divisions now are saying, uh, "Oh, Peterson!" Finally, uh, it seems that we could uh, potentially get rid of this invasion, and I'm, then I'm going to move my troops back. On the front that I care about, so I can start pushing towards Berlin. That's the idea. So far, we have lost half a million, uh, and they lost in Soviet Union 2.6 million people. Okay, that's going to be interesting for the, for Germany. Let me say that. That would be interesting. By the way, there are too many divisions here. So what we're gonna do now? It's a massive push. We don't give them any centimeter. And I think that I'm going to crush now a, a massive amount of, of troops. Let me just make sure that all the rest looks fine. I would even count them, but I think that I don't have time. <laughs> now let me check how many divisions we have here run about. Seven, eight. Oh, I can't really count them. So they have two plus six reserves every time. Whatever. I, I can't really say it, but in Vent Spills, uh, we crashed the German invasion. We destroyed them. And now we have to take Vatutin. Which could be also an infantry specialist, okay? Let's keep him. Vatutin goes directly on this front with the objective of taking. Uh, liberating wars of Lithuania. Uh, then I think that the next one is the Kibisov. Kibisov lost, unfortunately, a pretty. That's sad, but he lost an amount of troops. Uh, he goes back to Turkey. And I think that the missing guy here is Rokosovsky. Rosokovsky, sorry. And we put him here. Why? Because we are going to do. Kind of uh, whatever. I, I can't click below Kuotsk. All right. And we try to take Danzig here now. Okay. Now mm, all those guys are moving on him. All those planes are moving on him. Rosakowski. Here we have lost uh, a radar. Now this was a this was a German one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let me see what happens in the Mediterranean. Oof. Well, so far nothing. Nothing crazily. Nothing crazy, right? I take those four guys and I turn them into artillery and I push them. Okay. In the meantime, where well, we need to build an, a, a ton of tanks. For real, but we need now the the T thirty four, so we're slower. That's a problem. Okay. What I'm doing is uh, now I pin the 
those troops and I'm gonna lose quickly I would say but they try to encircle them so we can keep doing our little dirty trick so now I got the adaptable army and to get lesson of war I need to wait one year so let's continue this area with the stack on a bike movement and what we try to do now is really this encirclement because there are eight German divisions uh, which are really tasty they look at me like a crispy McBacon would look at me and I'm very hungry not sponsored by McDonald's by the way but if you want to buy all the keys all the DLCs all the games that you like and have a very good discount well I have a cooperation with instant gaming and I'll leave you the link down below instant gaming is a legit uh, platform so don't be afraid and you will thank me later all right so oh not bad right no, not that at all. Now let's push as much as we can with our tanks. Let's go to Płock, um, and then we move to Warsaw on the north and, uh, and on the south, and Danz on the, the north. Probably I can just do it like this. Where's Batutin? Push. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> it's wonderful, isn't it? This is wonderful. If I manage to close this pocket, well, my dear friends, things are getting so interesting now. With the Brazilian music, by the way, maybe I should stop pushing in banks. Uh, I just defend. And yes. That, that that's gonna work that's gonna work I love it I love it guys I'm loving it no oh, again I think I can get rid of the railway guns I mean I, I have enough of them for real As you can see, I have so much political power that I can start uh, using it to develop our extraction and resources. And why not? Why not, really? Assembly line production, more rubber. And now the German lines here in the north are, are, are pathetic, really. They are pathetic. We, we crush them. have no one at we take Dansk immediately. And we bring us some infantry, why not? And this big guy here. And another like 15 divisions has been destroyed. So now, to count the amount of uh, troops that the Germans lost in the Soviet Union, probably in a couple of months, another a million and a half. Now there are 3.7 million. Not bad, not bad. So I have some spies to know if they have been captured. Yeah, one has been captured. Jesus. 
I didn't notice that another has been killed probably. But what I could do here hmm, prepare a collaboration government. And by the way, automatically repeat. Yeah. Okay, we are lacking a lot of rubber. Oh, we could ask the British Malaya. No? We don't have a lot of convoys. Let's start building some. Plus, uh, where can I import my rubber fro uh, from the UK? Why? Well, obviously, someone explained it, uh, explained the reason, but well, this is we have to produce our own rubber. I don't see many other alternatives here, so let me check this. Well, we. We have zero industries. Civilian factories in use, 123. Man, what's going on? What is this? Why I don't have any industry anymore? All right, uh, expanding all the special projects and the operation. Wow, I'm basically sucking up all the industries because I'm building all this stuff so now for a bunch of months I will not have any sort of uh, I didn't expect it I didn't expect it for real Okay, let's stop with um, perfect. Now we have some more industry. All right, so now we can uh, go back to the British Malaya and import uh, the rubber that we need. Crazy stuff, really crazy stuff. Okay, it's the 21st of February 1942, and we have liberated Warsaw, or conquested Warsaw. Maybe it's, it sounds more realistic. We are preparing our first uh, <laughs> collaborational government with Germany, and Germany is definitely losing a lot, a ton of territory. And I'm not going to fight uh, Hungary and Bulgaria and Italy right now. I really don't, couldn't care less. I want to get to Berlin as soon as possible. Because the north is absolutely um, a real real estate. <laughs> we take also Dansk, even if it takes a little bit more. And now we see the German Empire, which is slowly losing territory. At the moment, only Königsberg has been the, the only German city that we have captured, but soon we'll have made much more. Are those guys leaving tanks uh, with, uh, with a boat, or do we manage also to encircle them and kill them? It seems that we killed them. 
right? Yep, exactly. Cool. Are missing anything? Medium tanks, okay. Now, guys, we are in Germany. We are we are on the border. We see Stettin, Tschechin in Polish, uh, Stettin in German. But that's the border. After that, there is the Oder River, and then there is the Spree and Berlin. And man. I, I didn't know that would take Berlin in 1942. That has been kind of simple at the moment. And of course the Germans could also bring troops in the north. They should. Uh, that means that they would have to leave this border. But they are trying to push and push and push. And Well, it's a pity for them, right? Let me check if I can take some new expert. So recovery rate plus eight. Mm. Do I like it? I prefer to have Goliko, which has uh, the artillery attack. And apropos artillery, now let's try to uh, push into <laughs> Bulgaria as well. It doesn't work. Okay, I stop. Not losing my time here. So. We managed to fix the topic with the fighters. No, not at all. But now we are producing 16 fighters. Let's move to 25. Hey guys, look at this. <laughs> look at this, guys. Look at this. The 11th of April 1942 and Berlin is now showing a beautiful Soviet flag. <laughs> Isn't it fantastic? They have 87% fancy war enemy bombing, combat casualties can't be raided, yeah. As soon as we have the new medium tank, we move in that direction. Let's increase our artillery. That's a good idea. Okay, so now, finally. Another couple of uh, civilian. And then another bunch of uh, meal. We keep moving in that direction, so... And I need to produce the new generation of uh, uh, fighters. Yeah, by the way, I, I think I should have all the technology to do that. Okay, I think, I believe, What? All right. It seems that we are reaching a limit with our infantry equipment. So it doesn't mean that I have to stop, but I need to be careful. Konev is a field marshal and I'm, and I'm using him as a general, okay. And Rokosovsky as well. All right. I'm pushing now manually towards the most important cities that I want to get to. And the infantry will follow. Let me go back to there. 
Well. Well. I don't have all the technology that I need for the new fighters, right? Okay, so mm, oh, 25 basic small and let's say 30 tanks. Get us to Hamburg, Rostock, Lübeck, Hamburg. And they go to Kiel. Okay, it seems that we are encircling the rest here in the north. Uh, we, we completely bugged, I, can I say this word? The north of Germany. And now they are not even able to defend their own borders. Okay. And I'm going to finish this episode right now, but we end and we didn't lose even one million. Man, uh, the Germans lost 4.5 men, even if um, we have been pushing. So, in theory, that was the German invasion. In practi <laughs> practically, it has been the Russian invasion of Germany, and they're getting all the benefit, the, the, the malus of, um, of an invasion, and then getting all the benefit of uh, the defending. I'm pretty happy. Uh, what, I, what I have to stop right now, though. Is the automatic um yeah that's what i'm going to stop the automatic uh, um advancement because i think that i can easily uh, do it everything by hand for example if i want to have weimar if i want to have my encirclements yeah Here we got Prague, and we can do another real quick encirclement. Our tanks are performing well anyways. Um, it's difficult to get Polish cities of Krakow and Katowice, but we will try to... Hey, 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 but this is, you see, see what I don't like of this, is that they are, that they are holes. There are holes here and there. Crazy. good let me see if the collaboration government comes in September okay look at this Try to push in here and oh my dear lord there's a hole <laughs> an entire hole so again let's go back from turkey our troops We can close this episode now. Alright. Let me see, let me see, let me see, because here I am playing with fire. We 
because I on one end I I can encircle them, on the other they can encircle me and they don't have so many troops. Look at this for example. Ah oh, Jesus they just got covered. Okay. They're in our territory right now. Let's stop for now. Let's stop it. Let me see if I can produce a better version of their theory. Not yet. Okay. I think I'm going to increment massively the amount of infantry equipment. And we finish here. We lost 1 million. They lost 5 million. Four and a half against us. They uh, are almost oh, more than 50% towards capitulation. Of course, Norway, Slovakia, Italy, Albania, Montenegro, Bulgaria, and Hungary are still really strong. But uh, if I get rid of all the miners, I mean, only Italy and Germany are uh, in the game. And Italy also lost 680,000 men against the Soviet Union. So I believe that things are getting pretty well. We've seen the next episode how we make uh, uh, the German Empire capitulate. And now we try to then also capitulate Italy. But see you next time.